so I'm back today to do a highly awaited video which is a gain weight video that's actually how I started my channel was talking about how I gain weight and now I am at my highest weight that I've ever been in life I'm at a higher weight than I was even when I was pregnant I am currently 195 pounds I'm five pounds away from 200 and no I'm not saying that is healthy no I'm not encouraging anyone to get up to 195 pounds but for those who are interested in knowing how to gain weight I decided let me do this video for you and it's going to be a two-part video and this video I'm going to tell you guys the tips and tricks I use to gain weight and then in um, my second part of this video I will tell you guys what I eat on a day-to-day -day basis because for the most part I eat the same things every day. So once this video gets to a hundred likes I will do the second part to this video like I said which is telling you guys what I eat on a day-to-day -day basis but I wanted to start off with tips and tricks on how I gain weight. So the number one thing I think that you should do if you're trying to gain weight is weight train work out when I say work out I don't mean go on a treadmill or go on the elliptical or run five miles you don't want to be doing things that are cardio because cardio basically leans you out and actually you know makes you lose weight what you want to do is strength training and things that will help build muscle and obviously building muscle will help you gain weight or build weight onto your body and make your arms and your legs and everything look thicker because they are becoming more muscular. And that's how I started out gaining weight this time around and it wasn't on purpose at all. This time around I gained weight really fast and I gained weight on accident. I started off just working out. I was working out five days a week and I was actually pretty skinny when I started off. I was 145 pounds and I'll include a picture of me when I first started working out. I was 145 pounds, I was pretty skinny and I actually liked the shape of my body at that time. Um, and my goal at that time was to be 180 or 190 pounds working out. Now, I have to be honest with you guys, I got to 180 or 195 pounds. Well, I've you know gradually worked my way up um not working out I worked out consistently for a very 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 long time but I think when I got to around 175 I stopped working out just because I got too busy I wanted to be able to make videos and I had to take care of my kids and I just didn't have the time to put in to work out because anytime I had free time I was either making videos or sleeping so once I got to 175 pounds I stopped working out which you know I probably haven't worked out for like two to three months and that's when uh, I packed on the weight even quicker but I want to say if you want your weight to go to the right places meaning your butt and your thighs and your arms and keep the weight from going to your stomach you want to make sure to work out and weight train. I will also include pictures to show you guys that now I do have weight in my stomach because I haven't been working out and I do plan to get back to working out. I actually hired a nanny. Uh, I thought it was gonna be so easy. I was like, I'm gonna hire a nanny. I'm gonna get to go and work out or whatever. I hired a nanny and she lasted one day and she never came back and I haven't hired another nanny since. So I actually did try to hire a nanny just so that I could get to work out and just have a little bit of free time. But hiring a nanny these days is just not as easy as you think it is. And plus my kids are super shy. So my kids just weren't having it. When I moved to Georgia, next month I will I do plan to hire a nanny and get back into the gym because my goal weight is to be 190 working out not 190 not working out 190 not working out I just don't think is that healthy for me at my height of 5'5 five five. 190 is healthy if you know you're getting your heart rate up if you know you're working out if you know your weight training if you know it's mostly muscle then of course yeah that's healthy but since I know right now that I'm not working out I don't feel my best and I don't feel that healthy so my goal right now is to get into the gym and anybody who's trying to gain weight I would say get into the gym obviously if you're in the gym and you're working out and you're weight training you want to also keep your calories as high as possible you don't want to be in a calorie deficit and when I first started working out 
for some reason I was like I'm gonna get muscles and I'm gonna get thick and I'm gonna be in a calorie deficit so I started off trying to be a vegan and only eating you know vegetables and lettuce and spinach and stuff so I was like I was pretty skinny like I said I was 145 when I started off but I realized eating at a deficit was not helping me gain weight so I was like forget that <laughs> forget eating super healthy so I decided that I'm still gonna eat healthy for the most part but I'm also going to try to eat more and I'm going to try to eat things that will help me pack on the pound so, so that I would be at an increase in calories instead of a calorie deficit. So you want to eat things that are calorie dense, meaning high in calories and also high in nutrition. And nuts happen to be one of those things that are high in calories and also are nutritious. And I talked about this before in a video and a lot of these things I will be repeating because people keep asking me how do you gain weight and for the most part it's the same things I do every time that I gain weight. And so what you want to do is eat nuts and the best nut to eat is Brazilian nuts. Brazilian nuts are really, really, really calorie dense. They're really, really high in calories and just get a handful of nuts and eat them. When you're watching TV, eat some nuts. When you're at work, sitting at your desk, eat some nuts. You can even eat peanuts and peanut butter. All those types of nuts are high in calories, calorie dense and have a lot of nutrition to them. The next thing that I want to talk about is the utensil that you use to eat. So I don't know if I ever talked about this on camera before, but you want to eat using a serving spoon. Like the largest spoon you can find is what you want to use to eat. Because basically what you want to do is trick your brain. You want to eat as much as you can and you want to eat as much as you can before your brain realizes that you're full. So basically your stomach has to signal to your brain that you're full. But if you eat a ton, basically using a big spoon or fork, and you get as much in your body as you can, as fast as you can, it tricks your brain because your stomach takes time to signal to your brain that you're full. So by the time you're done with your meal and maybe you've had seconds or thirds, your brain might not know yet that you're full and then Obviously, you get more in your mouth, more in your stomach at a faster pace. So that's what you want to do. You want to trick your brain into not knowing that you're full yet. Get as much food as you can into your stomach at the fastest rate possible. And when food is good, usually that happens anyways and you end up being super full because you're enjoying your meal and you're eating fast and you're eating loads um, of food. Um, at a fast rate. So like I said, eat using a serving spoon or a serving fork, you know, the biggest fork or spoon you can possible so you can get more food in your mouth and more food in your stomach at a faster rate. So the next thing that I wanted to show you guys is something I show you in every single gain weight video, but you guys always want another video, so I'm always gonna show you this. This also helps in my earlier journey. I don't have to use this anymore because obviously I'm not gonna drink a drink that has 360 calories at 195 pounds, that wouldn't be that smart. But when I was skinnier, I would drink this drink, which is called Boost. And you can get it in a variety of brands. It's basically a supplemental drink that has a ton of calories in it. You can get the Walmart brand, you can get the CVS brand, you can get any store brand or you can get the name brand. I also have a brand called Insure, which is also the same thing. But you always want to make sure that whichever brand you get, you get the one that says plus because the one that doesn't say plus has less calories. So if you get Boost, get Boost Plus. If you get Insure, get Insure Plus. If you get Equate, get Equate Plus. And all those drinks have 350 to 360 calories. So what you want to do is you don't want to replace your meal with one of these drinks. You don't want to skip a meal and then drink one of these drinks. You want to add this to whatever you eat in a span of a day. So you want to eat your meal, eat your lunch, drink a drink after you eat your lunch. Eat your dinner, drink a drink after you eat your dinner. Um, after your breakfast, drink a drink. Before you go to bed, drink a drink. 
you just want to continually throughout the day drink a drink and I noticed that for me to gain weight drinking one drink a day did not help only adding 360 calories to what you already have won't help what you want to do is drink at least three to four of these a day and that does get quite expensive but if you want to gain weight you know you got to do what you got to do when I was gaining weight early on I had to drink three to four a day and there was a long period of time where I was only drinking one or two a day and I wasn't noticing any change in my weight and that was the reason why it wasn't enough of a calorie surplus to change my weight you want to have enough of a calorie surplus to obviously help you gain weight and when you add up 350 or 360 times three or four that is a lot of extra calories to help you pack on the pounds so I definitely recommend drinking these drinks if you're having a hard time gaining weight and obviously weight training so important I wish I did weight training in the beginning when I was gaining weight because that would have helped with my stomach I have always had a problem with my stomach and I feel like if I had done weight training from the very beginning when I started when I was in my early 20s I wouldn't have such a problem with my stomach but weight training just wasn't like a big thing like it is now so I just I wasn't doing it and so now when I gain weight I do have problems gaining weight in my stomach and I just have to work extra harder on my stomach when I am gaining weight and right now obviously I'm not working out at all so my stomach is not where I want it to be but anyways let's talk about the next subject so the next subject is eat as many meals as you possibly can a day which I mean that's captain obvious you want to eat early meaning as soon as you wake up you want to start eating and you want to eat up until literally you go to bed you want to eat all throughout the day as many meals as you possibly can and you want them to be you know you can have your snacks like your Brazilian nuts and stuff like that and your gain weight drinks but you also want to have large meals you want your breakfast to be a large meal your lunch to be a large meal and then your dinner to be a large meal and then add in you know your gain weight drinks and your nuts and the different things that are calorie dense to help you pack on the pounds so just remember the goal is to be at a calorie surplus you want to bring in 500 to 1000 more calories a day than you are currently right now so what you want to do is just eat the way you normally eat in a day and count your calories and then what you want to do is add 500 or a thousand to that number and then from now on when you eat after that you want to make sure that you're eating that 500 to 1,000 more calories added on to what you were eating before. So um, those are my tips. Add calories in where you can. Eat your Brazilian nuts, your peanuts, your uh, peanut butter. Drink your gain weight drinks and work out. So those are my tips. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you guys what worked for me and you guys asked for this video so I'm giving it to you. If you do want to know what I eat in a day and how I got to 195 pounds, 5 pounds away from 200, definitely like this video. When it gets 100 likes, I'll make the next video. So bye loves. Thank you guys for watching.